<laughs> All right, friends. We spent the last three days kind of building our way up to actually putting numbers to a measurement. So we're going to take some time practicing, and then I've got a worksheet where you're going to cut out some rulers and then take some measurements on your own. Just, just to, to practice this. And if we get so far, I've got a whole bunch of stuff behind Dalton there. That's, and we'll measure how much water and I've got rulers. So like we'll actually practically, because then we were talking about what, it depends on what angle that you're looking at. And now we'll actually start measuring some things where you have to take all of this into account to try to get an accurate representation of what is there. So if you guys all turn your stuff on, are you able to get her to go? Is it working this time, Cam? Yeah, yep, that's kind of where we're at. Um, our rules, just a quick review. You have to look at, number one, what place is printed on the numbers? And then you look, number two, are there 10 divisions? So if the answer is yes, if there's 10 divisions, then you go two places to the right. If the answer is no, then you only go one place to the right. So the first thing that we were doing when we were doing all this stuff, we were just kind of identifying what are the decimal places printed on the ruler. So we were looking at a ruler, and what were the decimal places printed on this one? Tens. Yep. What about this one? Hundreds. This one? Tenths. Right? Anybody but Dalton? Anybody but Dalton? That's wrong, by the way. It's not one hundredths. This is thousands, right? So these are thousands. And then phase two, what we were doing is, are there 10 divisions in between it? So now we just took a step away from the decimals and we were looking just at the divisions. Are there 10 divisions between these two numbers here? Yes, absolutely. Uh, 10 divisions between these numbers? No. 10 divisions between these? Yes. 10 divisions between these? No. This is what you'll frequently find on a lot of rulers. There'll be like four or five. That is not enough to go two decimal places to the right. The, the third phase, and we, were, we finished this up yesterday, we were looking at how many decimal points should a measurement have. So we were doing things like looking at this, and since this is the ones, we're going to have a digit here in the ones, and are there 10 divisions? No, so you can only go one. So this is something point something, right? This is, uh, sorry. Okay, yes. So here, these are at the tenths, right? So there's a, a numbers are at the tenths. And there are 10 divisions, so you're going to go here and here. And where we left off yesterday, we were putting numbers in there. So when you go to put numbers in here, so here's my decimal point. We'll put a zero in front of it. What's the first decimal point that goes in this measurement right there? 0 0.3, right? Because it's past the point 0.3, but not quite to the point 0.4 yet. What's the next one? So here's one, there's two, yeah, see that, how it's, it's past the two. Yes, and then this last one, it doesn't matter. I mean, you try to get an accurate, I would say 0.5, because that does look right in between in the middle. So yes, I would absolutely go 0.325. You could say 0.3. Two, six. You could say 0 0.324. But what's really important is that you have all three of these decimals when you're measuring with a ruler like this. Okay? So we're going to try a few. So I think that we're kind of a little bit of a review. Now we'll start trying a couple here. First one. And do we need our little cheat sheet? Do you think that would be helpful? I think it might be. So here, let me let me grab our cheat sheet. <laughs> and look at how you're using the right verbs too. See how he's doing that, Mr. Owen? I like it. You said I like how it's very confident. I like how you didn't say this is really easy. Because it's not easy for everybody. It takes a few times. My man. <laughs> 
You had a good kindergarten. Who's your kindergarten teacher? Miss <laughs> Wernemont. Oh, yes. Okay, so here we go. Control C. Here's your first question. Getting us started today. Hopefully your response device works. Sometimes it's a little bit. Do you guys see a question on your response device? That'll never happen again. I'm glad you guys are here to wait. So what number is printed on the ruler? The ones places? And then there are not 10 digits in between there, so we only go one to the right of it. So this answer, six, it's definitely a six. Six point anything. Six. Yeah, I'm going four. 6.4. Yep. So the correct answer for this one, 6.4. I would, I would take 6.5. Like whoever put 6.5, it's a great, great answer. Good answer. Hey, great answer. That's okay. Let's try another one. We're going to do a pile of these like this. And you, I think that as we do more and more of these, you'll be more and more confident. I like it. I like what I see. Let's take a look. I'm going to make my marker a little skinnier. Okay. So, um, put all of my decimal points here. What's printed on the ruler is the ones place. And then there are 10 divisions, so I'm going to go two to the right. So it's going to be blank, point, blank, blank. So right now when I look at this, 2.89 and 2.88, those are the correct number of digits. So let's take a look. It's definitely 2 because it's between 2 and 3. 2 point, here's where I might make this a little skinnier. So here's 2.5, here's 2.6, here's 2.7. 2.8 and 2.9. Is it to 2.9 yet? No, it's not quite there, right? So uh, I like the 2.8, and now we're going to estimate that last one 2.88, 2.89. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, not a problem. Let's try another one. See if we can get that extra digit next time. Nice, so I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two point eight nine zero. Pretty good. Try another one. So on our on our ruler, these are the tenths, right? Here's the decimal point. It's one to the right of the decimal point. So then there are ten divisions. So we're gonna do one, two. So it's gonna be point something something something. So look at, we got three answers up here that have the right number of digits. So let's make sure now we have the right number. So it's definitely 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Um, here's one and here's two. It's in between the one and the two, isn't it? So 0 0.21, 0 0.21. Ooh, look at there, we got two of them. We got two people here and we have two people there. And then you want the Mr. Hare, the Mr. Hare, if you want to nail it right on, 0.213. There it is. Oh, very good. All right, all right. 0.213. A little momento. Got it, got it. All right. All right, next problem. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I fooled you all on this one. Fooled you all. So, what's printed on the ruler? The tens. And is there 10 divisions? No, so we're only going to have two digits. First digit, definitely a three. 36. 36. 35. 
right? We went a little bit too far. You know, when we're looking at these, that's one too many. We, we could have gone there if there was a decimal point. I mean, sorry, 10 divisions, but we can only go 36. All right, try another one. All right, friends, I fooled you again. Well, not all of you. One of you picked it up this time. So, what are what's on our ruler? The tens, right? Are there ten divisions? Nope. So we're only, there's not ten divisions. So we're gonna go two. So it's definitely thirty. Ah, uh, well here's thirty-five. It's below thirty-five, right? Thirty-one. So this thirty-one. All right. So let's try. We we got full two times in a row now. This is kind of making me say, like, what's going on? Remember to look for the ruler. I, thirty. I hmm. I like thirty. You know, who did that? Well, I don't want to call you out, but I, I like thirty. What you kind of have to do? Yeah. It, yeah, thirty. Thirty would be okay. That's too. That's too precise. Three point two. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, I know. Well, well, if because like here's the thing, like I, this this brings up a really good point. Like, what if, what if this thing? I'm gonna move it. What if it was like this, right? So you know that like the one is here. So what if it's you you? Yeah, and so then the, here comes the hard part for scientists. The answer is thirty. But we need to tell everyone that this is actually, we didn't round that. Like, that's that's a good number. So actually what they do is they put a bar over it, or they'll write it like this, 3.0 times 10 to the 1 power. We call that scientific notation. Because you could also write it like this. You could also write 3 times 10 to the 1 power. And this this it, this tells the, 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 the community at large, that when you look at this number, this is only good to the tens place. This one is good to the ones place because it's got that zero there. Hence the word scientific notation. We'll get there. That's a that's a weird case. Let's try another one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it. See what we get. Bad. This isn't bad. This this isn't bad. This is this one's a tricky one, and <laughs> it's funny. Miss Drone and I recognized it. So what's printed on is the hundreds. Are there ten marks in between? There's not. So you got to go this one. So this last digit is going to be a zero. Has to be a zero. Yeah, you could either do three one zero three hundred and ten. Or maybe you think it's closer to 300. So what you could do is you could go 300, zero, and you put a little line above that to say that that's important. Like that, that I measured that to be a zero. Or 3.0 times 10 to the 2 power. Oh, my gosh. That's great. That's a little bit, I don't know, mathy, but good, good, good. Don't be afraid to like, oh, no, I think it's, that's okay. Put that little bar above it. You're all good. Let's try another one. You guys are getting better. Everybody's got 200. We got 290, and we got two, two zero. So that's, that's the good, that's where it looks like we're kind of diverging from one another. It's definitely the hundreds, and there are 10 things. So we're going to put a number here, and we're going to put a number there. I could probably make better circles. Hundreds, tens, and ones. So definitely 200. Now, skinny line. So here's, here's 250. What's this? 260. What's this? 270. What's this one? 280. 290. What's this one? 300, right? So, definitely a little bit past 290. So, 290, one. 
291, 292. Yeah, be careful. Oh, it's tricky. I, I like the 290. Whoever wrote that, it's it's tricky. If you were going to write 290 down, you'd have to go 290, put that little bar above the zero, and that's legal. That's legal because maybe it is. Turns out the first people to measure Mount uh, Everest, it was like 20, it was like 22,000 feet, and they're like, we can't tell people. We They literally measured it, and it was like exactly 22,000 feet. So they said 22,000 feet. 56. They added on a couple of numbers to make it sound like they measured it, but even though they, they stuck a few numbers on to lie because they, people thought they wouldn't get believed. They're like, no one's going to believe that we measured this to be 22.000 thousand. You know, like it was weird. It was weird. So, yeah, it was, it came out to it like right on the line, and they're like, what? What are the odds? Yeah. Oh, I can't. Do you? I'll do five push-ups if you get this right. But you gotta do five push-ups if you get it wrong. You want? You want? You want to take that? Is, is that how? Is that your? Is that your confidence level right there? You what? You're in? All right, I'm in. I'm game. I'm excited. All right, Verge. It is game on, brother. I can't. So since I'm on the next page, I can't tell. When you guys, when you guys submitted your answer, just put your put your thing face down. That'll tell me that you've already submitted. That's okay. I, all right. So looks like we're just waiting for Cam. Okay. Now you just have to be one number on either side of me. Okay. One number on either side of me. Okay. So we got the tenths that are here. And there are not 10 things. So it's going to be, it's going to be, Zero point something something. Okay. Zero point three. Here we go. Start getting All right, so check this out. So here's here's five. I'm gonna go point three one. Oh, hey, but as long as you're within one of me, so I would take also zero point three two, and I would also take zero point three three. Did you get it? Well, let's take a look here. I don't know if I believe that. I, I got to verify. Virgil, 0 0.32. Hey, look at the rest of you guys. You guys are not only made my deal with him. Oh, you guys are crushed it. Hey, well done. I'm very proud of you. You guys did a great job. Do my push-ups. Have a good weekend.